Hey everybody, it's Highway back again with another tutorial. Today we're going to be having some fun with Angelic Vibes' new multi-effects plugin called Neo. So I'm about to show you this cheesy sounding flute melody here and I just want to beef it up a little. I'll play it first. So what I'm thinking here is we try using every one of these effects and see what we can evolve it into. Now keep in mind, Neo comes with a wide variety of presets and they can just about get you where you need to be pretty much no matter what sound you're using. We've got melodic, perks, vocals, bass, instruments, full mix, all kinds of stuff to choose from. And you can't forget about the randomize button. I think this is where I'm going to start and see if I can get any cool ideas from it. I kind of like how that one sounds. The only thing that caught my attention was, I believe it's the chorus. It's just a little bit strong. So I'm gonna try turning down the mix a little. Cut the ratio a bit. And I like that. So now I'm thinking we just move down the line and see what happens. I did notice a little bit of unnecessary bass in this melody. So I'm just gonna cut some lows out and turn it down maybe to like 300 or so and we'll play it and see what happens. Also, don't forget to unbypass these effects. Some of them will be on, some of them will be off. I'm liking somewhere around 230. So now that we did that, let's move on to lo-fi. I'm gonna turn the mix all the way up just so we can hear what it's doing. I just like that little bit of harmonics that it gives it. And speaking of harmonics, let's move over to drive and see what we can do with that. So you can see here in this menu that you get four different types of drive. They all sound a little bit different and it kind of just depends on what sounds you're working with, but I usually just try them all. I really like what Overdrive did to this one. So let's just dial back the gain a little bit. Probably somewhere around there, just to add a little bit. All right, now let's move on to the EQ. A lot of times when you're using the randomize button, the EQ is not gonna really make much sense just because they're all random settings, but it still gives you a good starting point. So I'm just gonna push this mid band out of the way a little bit and then adjust this low one. Now we already cut out some lows, so we're not gonna have to do too much, but we'll see if we need it. That'll do for now, on to the high. I like the little resonance curve this gives, and I still want to leave in a little bit of that ringing sound from the lo-fi effect. Now let's adjust this mid bell. Boost it up and see what we're doing.
All right, so we already messed with chorus a little bit, so we're just going to skip over that for now. Maybe we'll come back to it. Let's see what we can do with stereo. I kind of like that closer to zero there. It makes it pop out a little bit more. Now let's compress it a little bit. This one was bypassed, so it wasn't doing anything. Let's see if we like it. I like how the low ratio sounds. Let's try pushing it a little bit less. I still just want to keep some of those dynamics coming through. Now let's mess with our release. I kind of want to stick around the fast side. Alright, now we can hit limit just to see what it sounds like, but this is going to make it a very high ratio, and I kind of liked how it sounded better with a low ratio. Let's just give it a shot anyway. I don't hear much of a difference between the two, but we're just going to keep it on compression. Okay, so I noticed a delay in this already, but let's mess around with it a little bit more and see if we can come up with something different. Let's maybe try a fourth delay. I kind of like the bounce that gives. Maybe we'll try a little bit quicker. Nah, let's go with a fourth. I like a little bit less feedback because it gets overwhelming whenever it goes too long and it just kind of sounds like a brick of audio. Now I think I want to leave this delay all the way open. That way we can hear everything because it's a soft melody and it's kind of hard to hear to begin with. Now let's work on this mix. Alright, so if you listen closely, you can hear the delay 2 doing something. And I really like how this sounds, but the only thing I want to change about it is the timing. So I'm going to put sync on, that way it goes to the tempo of the beat. And then we can try something weird like maybe dotted eighth. Let's try something a little slower. I kind of like how ambient that sounds. Let's open up the filters a little bit more. Let's maybe pan this one to the right and then this one to the left a little bit. That way they can be heard apart from each other. Now it's a little easier to tell what's going on. Let's see what we can do with the reverb. Turn up the mix again so we can hear what we're doing. Turn down that pre-delay just a little bit. All right, now let's mess with that width. Yeah, I'm liking how that wide reverb sounds. Now let's see if we want to dampen it.
I think I'm liking how around five sounds. Now let's mess with the color. It sounds pretty rich around there. I think I'm gonna keep it just like that. Now obviously this is a lot of reverb, so let's bring the mix back down. That's nice. I want to be able to hear it, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. Now let's hear a before and after. That is an insane difference. Only thing is I want it to be a little bit less ambient, but I want everything else to sound exactly the way it does. So let's just bring this master mix knob down a little bit. Now the melody has a little bit more punch to it, and that's kind of what I was going for. The only thing I want to do now is go back to EQ and take out a little bit more of the ringing from the lo-fi effect. So I'm going to go to the high shelf and bring the frequency back just a little bit and maybe bring the gain down. There we go, now we can just hear it. So now that we have everything the way we want it to be, let's do another before and after. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm gonna add some drums to this beat and I'll play you the final product. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.